So we'll take some questions. Yes, what is your question? Hi, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Question. Ah. Despite of many trainings, educational trainings and courses for self-development, um, I don't feel really um, successful in business and in private life. So what is to be done there? So self-development and business and personal life. We will get success in business. It is total different thing and self-development is total different thing. Both things are total different. So success is due to our merit karma and unsuccess is due to demerit karma in life and in business. And self-development is total different thing. It is due to ignorance. So knowledge and Understanding can develop our self-development. So knowledge about true self and who is the doer, when we get this knowledge, automatically we will realize our soul and that is not dependent on worldly things. Worldly things are dependent on merit karma and demerit karma. So here he will get knowledge of self-realization and then you may success or may not success in business or personal life but when you don't have success at the time inner peace will be there by self-development or say knowledge of self-realization. That you can achieve by, so any success or unsuccess, equanimity will be there by this spiritual knowledge. And due to ignorance, when we get success, we, elevate, we become elevate. Oh, I am a great person, I can do anything. And when, due to karmic account, we are not success, we are failure in business or personal life then we are blaming on others or at the time if we are doer then we never become unsuccess in business or in our personal life but really we are not doer it proves when we are not success it proves that we are not doer then question arise who is the doer why this is happening and that question is it's solved over here by this Akram Vijnan spiritual science. Why this is happening in our life, good or bad. And for the self-development, you'll get your knowledge of pure soul. And how this is happening, that knowledge also we are getting here. And that will help you for equanimity. When there is no success or a problem arise, still you can have inner stage of peace. You understood? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's very relaxing to know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Thank, you, Thank you that I can speak here. So my question is, what effect does this Gnan have on my spirituality and on my work with the spiritual world? Just before I explain, if in our business or worldly life or our personal life, if there is a success, then we become elevated, we become happy, happy, happy. When there is a failure, then we become unhappy. But due to ignorance, happiness or unhappiness will suffer. We will suffer that things. But by spiritual knowledge, we can remain in equanimity. Let it be a success or it becomes failure. We can remain in a stage of equanimity. Just like, suppose 
in your house there is complete darkness no light then you have some trouble you can have some object it will hurt you but if it is a light then same house same thing everything is same but full light is there thousand watt bulb it gives total illumination you can visualize everything you not have any trouble no conflict no disturbance so this knowledge is helpful so worldly relation everything remain as it is but due to understanding of pure soul you can take any adjustment and you can remain so many adjustment you can take with people with job or business and you can remain in inner happiness equanimity you understand um ha huh? yeah. yes yes many so, things got answered before already now okay very good uh, i'm happy to be here um in fact i have two questions Uh, so the first one was that usually in yoga we say that the individual soul gets connected with the universal soul. Um, but in Akram Vignan we say that we separate, there is not union, but there is a separation. We separate the wrong understanding that we are the body or the mind. So... Um, then what is the concept of the soul what happens after uh, after this is there any other union with something higher or i am not sure about the concept then suppose there is a higher soul above us then we are always uh, controlled by that soul then no liberation will take place so really inner pure soul is a higher or ultimate soul or ultimate god but we don't know about that so we are believing that i am vincens so you are separated due to ignorance from inner your own pure soul you believe that i am this body i am this speaking i am doing is my wife i am husband my son i am father so due to wrong belief we are totally separated from inner pure soul inner pure soul is a god or is a ultimate god or almighty everything is inner pure soul but no not any soul or any god above us really there are six eternal entities element and soul is one of the eternal element and there are other element so physical atom this body time space so due to ignorance whatever atom or whatever by five senses we are observing we are believing that i am this name i am this body i am this in relation i am husband or father or son so due to ignorance we are separated from our pure soul only when we got realization then and we will finish all discharge karma then again we will merge with our inner pure soul only so not a about bigger soul or some god we have to merge with that soul you understood yes just i will explain you one some pot is there A thousand watt bulb is in, we put inside that pot and we close completely not a single ray of light will come if we pour one if we drill one hole then one ray of light will come then if it hole another place another one ray of light will come so really this two are not different but due to covering we feel this light is different this light is different one ray is different one ray is different when when we break whole covering pot then each and every rays will merge with full light really they are not separated but due to ignorance due to covering we feel full light is separate and one ray is separate second ray is separate when we break whole pot each and every rays will merge with full light 
So just like by five senses or say ego, ignorance, only by some knowledge we are getting in this life. Some engineer or doctor or carpenter or worker or any, but that limited knowledge came. So due to limited knowledge, we feel I am, I am that Vincent and I am engineer and I have to earn money, he is my wife, she is my wife, she is my children, so I am Vincent. But when you realize, oh, I am pure soul, and you finish this relations with equanimity, then all covering will break down and you will merge with inner pure soul. That is the absolute stage of pure soul, and that is a full stage. So, really, Notice any super power is there, but inner pure soul is whole and soul things. Due to ignorance, we are charging karma, and karma, when we charge all karmas, whole life karma, that will give you effect in next life. And effect is coming by scientific circumstantial evidence. And scientific circumstantial evidence is not God. It is a mechanical adjustment, action and reaction. Whatever we have made action, reaction will come automatically. You understood? Um, yes. Uh, should I do the second question or yes. wait for the translation? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm struggling about the cause of this whole mess. It's not, I think it's not on this paper. Um, you know, um, I am suffering, or we are suffering as humanity, uh, the results of uh, wrong thoughts, speech, and actions, because because of our of our misunderstanding that we are the doers, and we get involved in all this um, uh, bad habits. So, my question is. Um, in different religions or spiritual paths, we say uh, in Christianity there is the big sin, the first sin. In yoga we say there are uh, lots of karmas of past lives. Um, so always we are somehow guilty. Somehow we have to bury the, all these uh, bad uh, results. But um, in fact, I'm not sure, and I hope I don't. Um, uh, I don't my, my, uh, that I don't my feel someone uh, uncomfortable. But for me, this one who created the whole thing, uh, for sure, this body at least has not created this whole physical plant. Uh, so, in fact, for me, is the responsibility is not to me at least not the body and the mind, the soul, the soul, I cannot say anything because I'm not aware of it. But um, in fact, we are the sinners or the guilty ones. We have to make uh, practical alarm, etc., etc. But in fact, for me, uh, there is a gap of understanding. Uh, for me, if you ask me, I say, okay, you know, put all the blame to God put all the blame to this one who created this whole thing. I have not created this. I was born unasked. At least this is what I feel. Uh, of course, we can say, okay, you choose this body, etc. But you understand my point. Yes. But one thing, in ignorance stage, people will say you have done so and so wrong thing. You have to suffer. You have credited, demerit karma, sin, you have to suffer in next life. Or something we are suffering, then somebody says, you have made bad karma in past life, that's why you have to suffer this life. But here, one step ahead we are going. You are totally, due to ignorance, you believe that I am in sense. And in a stage of ignorance, we have made so many mistake. We hurt somebody, we are blame, we have blame on somebody, we become angry or pride, or deceit or greed, attachment, hatred. We have made so many mistakes in ignorant stage. 
and due to that ignorance stage and hatred and affection they have charged karma and that will come in this life in this charge form but at that time here what happens you know knowledge you know i am not vincent i am pure soul now whatever suffering comes to vincent it is definitely due to past karma but previously we built i have made so many sin i have made so many bad karma but now you understood oh, i am not doer of this thing this is happened due to ignorance i am as a pure soul now separate from vincent whatever suffering comes but you feel you you are having such knowledge that you can remain in equanimity whatever bad effect of bad karma comes still you can remain in equanimity and you can understand this whatever bad kar- karma g- gives effect it will finish and i am permanent i can remain in a stage of bliss all the time so by this understanding change of understanding as well as knowledge of pure soul in a stage of pure soul when you remain in a stage of pure soul then suffering and this uh, whatever bad suffering comes still you can just like a, a some fire is taking place so you are no worries here you, you are not having suffering of that fire so as a pure soul you are separate from vincens vincens means discharge karma discharge karma gives effect but you are separate from vincent you can remain in a stage of please you understood um i'm not sure if my intellectual capacity is enough to understand um who is the creator of vincent who is the creator of the suffering and for what reason yes i will explain you suppose some person suppose you are vincent and you have taken some liquor <laughs> about more quantity then what you will say i am president of germany why you are saying so you says get out from here you are well, so and so whatever whatever you are doing but due to that effect of liquor it may happen or not Uh, of course i am not the president of no but you are not president but due to effect of that drinking something the person will say i am president of germany i am so and so person due to due to ignorance and people have given that you are vincent you are so and so you are so and so so due to ignorance just we have taken Uh, due to ignorance our ego get generated intellect generated anger pride deceit greed everything generated and due to anger pride deceit greed ego we are believing that i am husband i am father i am son i am manager i am engineer i have assembled so many machines i have in the chief engineer of this company but due to ignorance and due to ignorance we are doing attachment or hatred affection or hatred avoidance and that will charge karma and suppose in in that drinking condition you spoil some disturb something or so you so break down something then your all this effect of that liquor go away then you have to repay that things no you have to get correct or you have to give payment for this whatever we have made uh, disturbance you have to give some amount and you have to solve that problem so like that in ignorant stage whatever we have made causes and now we are getting suffering effect of that karma but now we understood that i am not uh, vincens i am pure soul he has to suffer but now we understood that i don't want to take new liquor and i want to keep awareness and i want to finish or whatever i have made in ignorant stage i will finish with equanimity then you are not going to charge new karma and when you finish discharge karma with equanimity 
automatically he will be liberated from this worldly karmic account you understood um i will uh, i want to give others also the chance the chance to speak that's why um I will it's okay. I will give the mic because no, it's you know, okay. it's the this it is this uh, thing of uh, the, the creation who created the creation for what reason and why I have to suffer okay or why has Vincent to suffer or why yes. has to be suffering at all nobody is creator of this world nobody is creator of this world only scientific circumstantial evidence are the doer according to this understanding that whatever we have made bad or good karma in past we have finished that mind speech and body and now in this life why we have to suffer no that is your question if a stick hits a person then does the stick have to ask for forgiveness and suffer or does the owner of the stick who is uh, with which uh, the stick is beating that owner has to be responsible and will suffer for the consequences of beating with the stick which one of the two of course the owner hmm. of the stick who is hitting so mind speech and body these are the instrument and you are the owner so owner in past life you were there in this life again you are there so you are the owner mind speech and body finish in past life but new due to causes causal body we are getting new mind speech and body in this life and that mind speech and body gives effect but effect who will suffer that ego will suffer because ego in past life he has made causes he has charged karma and ego will get suffering in next life with discharge karma so you are there in past life also in this life also that's why you are responsible for whole life karma whatever you are charging new karma again that will come in next life and you are responsible for charging of new karma you will get suffering in next life of discharge karma but now if you stop charging of new karma then automatically you will not get suffering in next life of discharge karma because you have not charged so here we are responsible i am responsible for for my whole life mind speech and body is just instrument they are not and god no such a god he has made us to make bad karma or good karma due to ignorance we have made bad karma or good karma due to ignorance we have charged bad or good karma merit karma or demerit karma you understood Okay, I understood that um, in Akram Vignan we don't separate ourselves and say my individual soul and supreme soul. It's all one soul. So, really? Soul. And I'm hoping that I will get there. Now, Akram Vignan says that there are, you are as a pure soul, but your wife has another soul. This, so many people are sitting there. Everybody has an individual soul. so identity is total different so there are infinite soul in this world but they are in ignorant stage covered with karmic account but when they finish their karmic account they will get liberation they becomes absolute pure soul as if they people will say god or say uh, supreme soul but liberated soul is a supreme soul but everybody can get that stage when they come out from their ignorance and they finish discharge karma so every soul so there are infinite soul not only human that animal plantation every living thing is a soul inside and they are have a some, some development stage plantation they have one sense some some creatures they have two senses three senses four senses human and the dog and cat they are five senses and when they comes in human stage when they realize their soul they will charge stopping stopping new karma they will get liberation that becomes a full stage of your soul 
so this cycle is going on according to development thank you. thank you very much i hope for all of us that we are from the 360 degrees on 350 or something <laughs> thank you very much yes definitely <laughs> That was my question from yesterday, from the viewpoint of the relative. What is a good way to get rid of old negative um, imprints from the childhood and from the past? Whatever we are remembering, good or bad, it is due to attachment and hatred. Abhorrence and attachment, that will, that memory comes from attachment and hatred of past. So whatever memory we remember and all negativity, some mistake, everything we can do pratikamana. Pratikamana means apology for our mistake, repentance for our mistake. So when we wash out our attachment and hatred, all mistakes, then automatically memory will dissolve. So, from childhood we will we will do samaik. It calls samaik. So, introspection. Say for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, half an hour, one hour. Whenever you have time, you can sit down for half an hour, one hour, and recall your memory. What happened in past, in childhood? Dad, from dad or mom, something happened. We will see negative of them. Do Pratikaman. How to do Pratikaman? We will see inner pure souls of dead and us, whatever we have made mistake, we have seen your negative. I become angry on you. I have seen your negatives. It is very sorry for the, me. I, I, I feel very sorry. Please forgive me. Please give me strength not to see negativity. Like that, each and every person we will find out what mistake we have made and we will ask inner pure soul for pratikama and our strength not to repeat this mistake again. So each and every person, friends, families, then teachers, neighborhood, then after marriage, wife, children, father-in-law, mother-in-law, brother-in-law, anybody in our life to whom we have interaction by attachment or hatred. It is our mistake. We have to solve with equanimity. Whatever mistake we have made, we will ask for a forgiveness of our mistake. You understood? Thank you.